Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is suppose a white ferret rabbit breeds with black ferret rabbit and all of the offspring have a phenotype of grey fur. What does the gene for fur color in rabbits appear to be an example of and you have to choose one of these answers. And let me show how to solve this problem just using some pictures. Probably this is going to be the best uh, demonstration of um, different uh, variants of the inheritance. So here we have one parent who is black, another parent who is white. And now let's imagine that the progeny are all white and black. And this is going to be example of co-dominance. When we have one trait which is color and two uh, genotypes, we see that uh, both black and white would be expressed in the progeny. So this is an uh, example of the co-dominance. Now what is the incomplete dominance? And here is going to be another example of the gray bunny. Sorry, wrong picture. So now you see that uh, black in this uh, rabbit would be incompletely dominant over the white and the progeny would be of the intermediate color between black and white. Why I am saying that black is incompletely dominant over the white and not white incompletely dominant over the black? Because white actually is not a color. It is absence of color which we perceive as white. But actually if you'll take just one hair and magnify uh, under the light microscope, we would see that each hair is going to be uh, translucent or transparent, but uh, due to scattering of the light, we perceive uh, such a rabbit as white. So this rabbit produces pigment and this one doesn't. And sometimes it happens that uh, when rabbit have uh, some hairs black, others hairs white, we perceive it as uh, gray rabbit. Or in other cases, uh, in other scenario, we may see that uh, rabbit just doesn't produce enough uh, black pigment and in this case we perceive it as gray. So this is example of incomplete dominance and this is answer C. And what is the uh, complete dominance? Complete dominance would be when the progeny of this couple would be whether black or white. In this case we can say that uh, black is completely dominant over the white or vice versa. And what is the uh, mosaicism? It's basically uh, when uh, one organism would have um, different uh, cells with uh, different mutations. So, for example, uh, imagine that early in the development of the organism, when organism was just few hundreds of cells, a mutation happened in one cell, which give a rise to the whole uh, bunch of cells, millions of cells, which uh, genetically slightly different from the rest. So we would say in this case that this organism would be mosaic. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.